do I have to pay rent if and when my landlord is selling the house? That's a question I got asked the other day while I was at one of my listings that I'm selling, which is 10 Takita. And this question wasn't even presented to me from those tenants. It was a tenant that was a neighbor living across the street. This is a community in Rossville. And she's asking me, oh, well, if the landlord's selling the house, the tenant, do we have to pay a rent? <laughs> Hell yeah, you have to pay a rent. You didn't pay for that. Maybe it's not for you here. Why would you even think that you will not have to pay rent? This brought me to this thinking that I thought would be extremely important to put it out there for anyone who's a landlord or tenant. Because let's face it, I think everybody knows by now how terrible the New York State laws are when it comes to landlords and tenants. How terrible are they? They are completely in favor of the tenant and absolutely zero zilch for the landlord. And the sad part about it is that tenants are taking advantage and manipulating the system because they know that the landlords have absolutely no rights. So you might be a tenant and thinking, yay, hooray, I get to live for free. Yeah, things are, you know, it's tough times right now and everyone is struggling. The economy is tough. Everything is expensive. You go to the grocery store you feel it it takes double the amount of money to buy the same amount of groceries gas pump everything everything is extremely expensive yes i understand that but let's think about the long-term effect of this new york state tenant favorable law and absolutely nothing for the landlord so let's review it together and see how it's going to affect the future of everybody's life so let's talk about about the tenant first. So you, the tenant, hasn't been paying rent, regardless whether or not the property is for sale or it's not for sale, but you got behind on your rent. Nine out of 10 times, your landlord has a mortgage that they have to pay on that property, whether it's a multifamily, single family, doesn't matter. They have a mortgage that they need to pay on a monthly basis. They also have taxes, debt, property taxes, insurance, some common bills, water, sewer. All of these things are the expense of the landlord. Like, let me ask you a question. Do you think that it's fair for the landlord to carry all of these expenses out of their own pocket. So technically what is happening right now is that the landlord has to cover the costs of all of these expenses. Did you know, by the way, that if the tenant does not pay their water bill for a certain amount of time or their property taxes at some point, they're going to be in foreclosure. Please think about that when you decide that you're not going to pay your rent. Now, from the tenant perspective, you are living in someone else's property rent free. And I do understand that you might be going through financial hardship and maybe you can't afford to pay the rent. But have you considered paying portion of it at least? I don't know, have you? But that's besides the point. That's just me having this thinking that really amazes me and really frustrates me too because I'm able to look from both sides of the equation. So let's look from the tenant's perspective. Now, because tenants are falling behind on their mortgage payments and putting landlords in a financial hardship and even risking losing the property to foreclosure, risking having liens, risking possibly dipping into their savings if they do have some savings that they might have saved for maintaining the property and things like that. Now they have to go in there. That's if they're lucky and they have it. And what if they don't? They struggle too. What if they don't have any savings to go into. So now you, the tenant, is in a financial hardship. And because you are in a financial hardship, now the landlord is in a financial hardship. And then we have our leadership who creates votes and put in effect those rules and regulations that are then executed through the court system. And it makes me wonder, do they even think what kind of a trickling effect 
effect this is going to take in the future. Let me give you a scenario and then you can let me know if you agree, if you disagree, can you even see that this is where we're going to be heading in the future. And I'm sure that most of you have children or grandchildren and most of you would care to see that in the future, this is where we're heading to. So let's look at what this is going to create. So I personally spoken to quite a few number of homeowners that possibly have like a two family house that they live in one unit, rent the other unit. And as their tenants are moving out, they move out for just maybe two or three common reasons. One is that they buy a house, they're lucky enough they buy a house and so they move out into the home to they get married their apartment's too small and now they're getting it into a bigger apartment three they totally move out of state and know what these homeowners are doing they are not they refuse they say i'm not renting my apartment anymore because i don't want the money i don't want the headache i don't want to risk having a non-paying tenant living in my house and the laws are all against me and as the landlord and I don't stand a chance in court. Now, what this creates is less and less number of available apartments for rent. Two, because there's less apartments for rent and high demand, guess what? Now the rents are getting higher and higher. And then we take the number of landlords who are still willing to rent an apartment to a tenant. Now they raise their demands for qualifications. And the biggest one is the credit score. So I see rental agents posting properties for rent with specifically stating minimum credit score 720. I very rarely find even buyers who are looking to buy a house that can match that credit score. Most people are under 700. Now you tenants have to have 720 credit score, not to mention all the other stuff, good income, verified income, W-2s, all of these things that landlords are requesting right now. So not only you're contributing to really high rent increases, very small inventory to rent, and you are contributing to helping a very large number of people who need to rent places so they can have a roof over the heads, not qualify to even be able to rent. So my question to you is, do you even realize what are you doing when you do these things? The problem is that everyone is just me, me, me. I only care about me. This is all I care about. I don't care about anything else. That's the problem. But I really put the responsibility on our leadership and the people who propose those laws and regulations and then the people who we vote into office who vote yay for these kind of laws and then put it into a law. And I'm not for either side of the equation, but let's be honest and real here, okay? Let's just make laws that are fair to each side of the equation, because at this point, it just sounds like it's all one-sided. And the worst is that nobody is thinking of the trickling effect that this is creating for people, for landlords, for tenants, for prices. And then everybody complains about how bad things are. So please, if you agree with me, comment below and let me know. Do you have any experience in that? Have you gone through something like this, whether you're a landlord or a tenant? And if you disagree with me, please comment below and give me your reason as to why do you think that it is fair that everything is in favor of the tenant and nothing is in favor of the landlord. And by the way, if you're a landlord and you are in this situation and you're struggling to pay your mortgage and facing possible foreclosure, my channel is all about helping you save your house. And in case we can do that, find other ways and options to get you out of this mess. So thank you so much for listening to this. I hope you give it a lot of thought. I'm looking forward to hear from you. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, stay connected with 
with me and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video.